What is going on bros and broettes? I'm about to show you what I think is a very sneaky lipless crankbait technique. I got Swimsuit Girl behind the camera. Hit like and subscribe back there for her. Fish really like this lipless. You've seen a lot of videos on it from me in the past as well as kind of a walkthrough on what lipless to use. The tight vibration of this and your ability to sort of get a reaction bite from it is absolutely key. And everybody knows about what's, what's called ripping a trap. You know, basically you hang it on grass or you hang it along the bottom or you just reel it super slow, almost like you're slow rolling a spinnerbait, and then you just give it that pop, dude. That, that little pop, that bait kind of flutters up, almost like a spoon, and then it just settles back down to the bottom. And that little pop, it's amazing how in winter those fish react to those, those short, quick, brief movements. And this is kind of like that, but this is a little bit more like what I would describe as sort of like hair jigging or fishing a lipless, almost like a, like a suspending jerk bait. And it's sort of like stalling a trap. That's, I guess, what we're gonna call it. And what you do is this, it's super simple. So you, you slang your bait out there, you're on a big old flat, you let it get down to where you want it to get to, engage the reel, and you're gonna start your slow reeling, right? And we're just kind of stuck on the grass. So we're gonna pop it up, and usually you drop your rod tip back down right after you pop it up. But what I actually do is I pop it up, and you kind of put your rod tip behind your back, it's a little uncomfortable, I'll warn you about that, but you put your rod tip so it points sort of behind your head. What that does is something super simple. So when you pop that trap up, if you let the rod tip back down, the bait actually sinks back down, right? But if you keep it just above the back of your head, just right about there, and you stop it, what ends up happening is that bait hits that sort of, that, that pinnacle, that climax, that crest of that ripping point up in the air, and with that rod tip back Back, it sort of pauses it and stalls it above whatever cover, even in open water, and it gives that bait that one one thousand of I'm not doing anything. I'm stuck where I'm at. And there's something magical about it this time of year. It gives those fish maybe like another split second to sort of think, oh, should I eat it? Should I eat it? And when it stalls, it's just like a suspending jerk bait where they're like, oh, I, oh it's going to move again. I got to eat it. I taught this technique to my buddy Jacob Wall, who's a BPT pro now, dude, fishes on um, the MLF. This is what we got on our bait. Bunch of grass, right? So we got to shake that grass off real quick. But I taught it to him a couple years ago, and he was blown away because he knows how to rip a trap really well. I think we all kind of do, especially if you fish around grass, in fish in Florida, or just fish any kind of cover or bottom where you're getting that reaction strike by popping it up. But it's amazing the difference that it makes when you actually stall that bait. And he was so surprised. I was getting two or three bites to his one. So basically, cast it out, you're on your flat, you're going to start a slow reel, slow reel, and then pop. And then you're going to hold that bait right up there for just a second, and then you're going to go reel down, start your, start your retrieve again, and pop. And you see how I'm just kind of pausing it at that just back, sort of pointed behind my head point. And what that does is it just stalls that bait, gives them an extra second to think about it. And dude, they absolutely chew it, especially during the winter. So equipment for stalling a trap is pretty simple because in my opinion, doing this with any sort of like trap or lipless that's heavier than say a half ounce just isn't possible. Half ounce, quarter ounce, three ace is the absolute juice for this. So on this particular setup, this is that Booyah one knocker. You can do a one knocker, you can do a red eye shad works really well. Bro, um, Aruka shad, excellent choice. Or even your quarter ounce red eye shad, your quarter ounce Berkeley, um, I think it's called the war pig. Any of those will work just fine. But system wise, the rod and the reel are hugely important. So I have a 7.3 medium. This is a Halo XD3 Pro. You can use pretty much any medium you want, but I recommend it be a little bit longer, like 7.1, 7.2, maybe not 7.6, but a little bit longer rod because that longer tips helps you to kind of keep it up in the air and get that stall, get that pause out of the bait. And the other thing too is I have a fast reel. This is a 721, at least for cranking it's fast. Um, and then I have 12 pound test. The reason I have the faster reel is you need to pick up line pretty quick after you actually stall that trap, especially if you get a bite. A lot of times your bite will come right on that stall. So you got it above, kind of over pointed back behind your head and you'll feel the rod load up. It's one of two things. It's either grass or some kind of cover or it's a bass. And the only way to actually set the hook because the rod isn't gonna load up super great at that angle is to actually just reel down and that leads to another thing so i'm running 12 pound fluorocarbon this is cigar red label 
you are going to nick up your line. And because of the angle of when they actually eat this with the way the rod is, it tends to put some nicks in the line when you set the hook or when you actually reel down and hook those fish. So you need to keep an eye on your line, but I like that lighter line. It just makes it easier to cast further. It helps the bait to run a little bit better. And I personally think you get a little bit better action out of the bait, but that's your setup. It's super simple. Give it a try, dude. It's absolutely stellar. There's something about that stall, just like when you're fishing a jerk bait, that's a spending kind of that that pause moment that cadence that absolutely kills it in winter if you enjoyed this video or you like swimsuit girl who is behind the camera hit that like and subscribe button we will see you back out on the water talking fishing or catching bass